Hi friends, welcome to this new coding tutorial. As I got many questions about the source code I have published on GitHub, I will create some short videos like this one where I can give more details on the solution that I presented in my articles. Today, we will see how to plot a simple stack bar plot that is used in logistic continuous improvement. I have used this visual for a video and an article related to the design of an automated supply chain control tower using Python. The idea is to connect to different systems to build a solution that will track the shipments along the distribution network of a fashion retail company. After connecting to the different systems, you can get timestamp for each step of the shipment delivery. At a time t, you can follow all the shipments and track their status. Are they in the warehouse, en route to the airport, in flight, or passing the custom clearance, or at the last mile delivery? The idea is to see, by date of order creation, what are the status of each order at a time t when you do the extraction. If you see a majority of delivery time, like in the first days on the left, it means that all the shipments have been well delivered. If not, you need to focus on the leg where they are stuck and push the team to unlock the situation. Let's see how we can build this chart using Python. Okay, so now we're ready to start. Uh, first, uh, we import the different uh, needed libraries. So here it's a very simple chart. So we only turn that in matplotlib. Then we had some visual settings. So here is to wrap the data frame to make it more aesthetic when you see it. And here you add uh, some settings for the number of columns and number of uh, items that you want to display. Then you import, you import the data frame. So here we have 10,000 lines, just to remind you the context. So here, each line is another line linked to a shipment number. In this order line, you have the order creation time, some quantities, the shipment number, and then you have all the different timestamps uh, along the distribution chain. And then with, with these timestamps, uh, you are able to track the status. So for instance, here is delivery time. So that means the last timestamp is at the delivery. Uh, what we can see here that is shipment is late for multiple reasons. How can we calculate the reason? It's very simple. You look at the different timestamp for each step. You compare them with the target. The target is calculating using the delivery lead time. The lead time, sorry, the target lead time. And if basically, for instance, in the warehouse, if you are supposed to finish the picking at 4 p.m. and you finish at 5, you know that is because of the warehouse. So you can put the reason code warehouse. So you have we will have several type of reason codes. And uh, this, uh, if you have two types or more for one delivery, late delivery, it puts multi, or the rest, it will put just the, the delivery time, the reason code, sorry. So now what we want to plot is the status per order creation date. So just to remind you the context here, it's supposed to simulate uh, the distribution planner that will do the extraction on the system. So we need to uh, put the date of extraction because from one day date to another, the status will be different. So here, we just put the parameters, put extraction day. Uh, if I remember well, based on the data I have here. So these are anonymized data. The 5th of May, the 11th of May. Yeah, don't forget to um, extraction day. Don't forget to come to convert to daytime extraction day. Up date. Okay, I think we're good. Then we want to know for a specific time the status of your order. These orders will be grouped by order creation date. So we take, for instance, all the orders that were created the 1st of June. And we want to know the split by status. How many are delivered? How many are in the warehouse? And based on this, you are able to trigger some decisions. So first, we need to group uh, by creation date. 
so here I will df stat for status and for each creation that we want to calc to count to I would say to combine by status so yeah wrap by I group by order date easy and I group by last status and I count the number of shipments so shipments how I call this here this shipment okay uh -huh. uh, I take the number of unique values uh -huh. and I will call it the stamp for comments I will call it this shipment boom So what do we have here? But then what we want to have, you know, on the X axis is the order date and then we want to split by status. So very easy, huh? a, a quick pivot by status. So I will keep the same PD not pivot table, EF stat. Don't forget to reset the index because here you can see that it's grouped by, because of the group by, you will not have access to the first two columns. Uh, the index, so it's the most the order date, huh? it's your X axis. The columns, uh, the columns is the status, so last status. Uh -huh. The values, it's the number of shipments. Uh, well, we don't need here, but uh, for safety, uh, Aggregative function and yeah, import numpy as np. I mean, I just do it to make sure, but uh, it's probably too much caution. Uh, but a very important caution fill the empty records with zero. Why? Because maybe for this date, you know, you only have delivered, so the rest would be no, and you don't want to have that when you plot. Uh, I think we're good. Uh, maybe we can have a look. Yeah, perfect. Uh, now we can define. Oh, okay, let's process it for plotting. So let's create DF plot, DF stat, reset index. You want to have access to the dates. Uh, for here, Make sure that the dates are the date format. Uh -huh. to date time. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. DT the date. Yeah, I think we're good. Uh -huh. Ah, this is now where you have filter by extraction date yeah so of course huh, you don't want to show the because I'm, I'm using like historical data right but if I want to simulate the extraction date of the 5th of the 11th of May I will not show results of uh, the 1st of June so for this I will just filter the scope okay. so order date that is before extraction day. Okay, normally uh, you are supposed not to have the day, the ex all the orders of the day, but let's say that your the distribution planner is uh, doing it at the end of the day. And then I think we're good. So, how it looks like. Okay, 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 okay. I think we're good. So here, what you can see is that the first days, which is uh, normal, uh, I think the 11th is close to the end of the of the extraction. So the first, the second, the third, they are all delivered. But uh, let's look more in details after plotting. But I think now, yeah, we are ready to plot. 
So I will first start by defining an axis. Uh, just in case I reset the index. Actually, I don't need. Uh, ah, yeah, probably. Let's see. Uh, I plot figure size. Uh, here, 15.8 is good. I usually like to add some edge color. And I put it black. So the x axis is all the date. So it's all the creation date. Y axis, these are the columns. So how I can get the columns? Here, you know, we didn't have, we haven't uh, reset, reset, sorry, the columns. So if you take the pivot table, you will have all these statues and he has index all the date. So I can take tfstat.columns. Uh, I want to see the legend. Font size 14 stacked. So yeah, that's the topic of the video. We'll see uh, what could be the result if you don't stack it. Yeah, it's horrible. And then we have a color map. I take always pay at. Uh, if you check the video about do not plot, I do the same. I think we're good. Uh, I like to add some label. So what's the label? Why label? These are the number of shipments. Uh, yeah. And it's not a bad idea to add the font size. Uh, PLT dot. So the X axis, but these are the dates. So, so I don't need to specify just need to put a title so these are the shipment status report and we put the date so the date is extraction day and we show uh, let him... yeah perfect wow so what we can see here is that the legend is horrible because I forgot a parameter so I need to say I need to specify that I want to have eight uh, eight statues per line and what he will do he will put it in line but then I'm not sure if he will keep it here or we put it at the top so we can try but again if you are oh yeah great uh -huh. And if I put nine, is too much. Yeah. But now you're done. You have your um, you have your chart. What you can see here is that the orders the older orders are all delivered. And what you can see here for the orders of the seventh of May, you have a lot that are blocked in the clearance. So it can be normal following the lead time, but You'd better have a call with the freight forwarding team to check if nothing is wrong, if there is no issues in terms of documentations or uh, missing uh, missing data. Here, what you can see is that it's blocked at the pick and at the at the takeoff. Uh, here, it's blocked in the pick and pack. Uh, and for this one, these are open. So, what does that mean? Open. That means they are still waiting for being transmitted to the warehouse. I hope it was clear enough, but if you have any questions, feel free to share them in the comment section.